once again here is another feedback of the iron work so we have been able to uh, put the irons in position on all the L form as you can see and if I can give a, an average of the spacing between one rod to the other it's 11 centimeters so the squares are 11 centimeters and the closer they are to each other the more solid the concrete is going to be so there is one thing putting the iron in position there's another thing touch attaching them together with the binding wire every rod is attached to the other with the binding wire usually some people will tie one and maybe skip two or three before tying the other but we made it different because it is uh, technically advisable to key all the rods together with the binding wire so as you can see all the rods have been keyed together with the binding wire it's just that the video kind it's uh, it's it's a little more complicated to understand or to actually see the binding wire on the video so even before the binding wires are put in pos into position we have to anchor the rods at the various angles as you see uh, this technician is doing right away so we have to twist the rods up that's step one and then you fold them right down to attach themselves firm on the beam the rods are supposed to be so firm that you can stand on them without them twisting on the ground it is that firmness that uh, 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 indicates how solid the concrete is going to look like so this is how the building looks like from the outside you know uh, this uh, metal work is going up is, is currently going on on top of the building so it's really difficult to actually see some changes from how the building was just some little mesh that you can see from a very far distance if you want to see uh, any visible change so after this stage like I told you we have to do framing we thank God the plans for the framing are available on the side we will do framing and then we will have to flush and clean every debris that must have fallen from the binding wire or uh, the ground from our shoes. After cleaning it and ensuring that everything is perfect, then we will begin with the concreting. All things being equal, we should be done with the metal work tomorrow and we should also be done with the framing tomorrow. And since we already transported all the gravel and the sand that we need on top of the building, Concreting is possible to be done and completed on Friday, that is next tomorrow.